final script for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker almost get leaked? And yeah. the star set of the cast will leave you asking, who did it this weekend? Courtney sitting by with today's Hollywood headlines. Ooh, we got some good dish. But first off, we're going to start off with a new host uh, gig for LL Cool J. The actor and rapper is going to host the 42nd annual Kennedy Center Honors this year. It's going to be the first time for him hosting the event, but not the first time attending. He was actually a recipient of the Kennedy Center honor in 2017 and the first rapper to ever receive this coveted prize. The Kennedy Center honors airs on CBS December 15th. Well, there's a lot of secrecy around the upcoming Star Wars movie, but somebody almost let the cat out of the bag. That's the biggest fear of executives from Lucasfilm and Disney. In a recent interview, the Rise of Skywalker director J.J. Abrams revealed that a cast member left a script under a hotel bedroom, and it wound up on eBay. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Abrams said that a Disney employee spotted it online and got the script back before it sold. Uh, so I guess we'll have to wait and see if there are any real spoilers on December 20th when the film hits theaters. Whoa, that would have been a hot mess. Uh -huh. Well, the plots may seem similar, but the stories are all new as a murder mystery channel uh, movie uh, channels Agatha Christie. It's called Knives Out, and it's set to hit the big screen this weekend, oh, being promoted as a whodunit. The film follows a family gathering gone horribly awry when the patriarch dies. The all-star cast is all suspects as detectives track down the killer. It will never figure out what's happening, and the puzzle pieces will come together in that really delightful way where you're like, I know, I've got this, and then you don't have it. Like to Knives Out also stars Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, and Anna DeArmas. It debuts in theaters tomorrow. Well, One Cable Network is reinventing MASH, and it's not a sequel or a reboot, but the along came uh, the same theme as a mobile army surgical hospital. Our mission, keeping soldiers alive. Oh, Let's go! I got him! It's gonna be okay! Transporting rugs and body bags? This was just brought in here by mistake, but no worries. I'm just going to take it to the morgue. All right. Well, the music is familiar. <laughs> Paramount Network released their first look at the newest dramedy, 68 Whiskey, it's called. The new series from executive producers Brian Grazier and Ron Howard follows a band of army medics in Afghanistan as they use humor and camaraderie to navigate a war zone. 68 Whiskey premieres on January 15th. I, I, I feel confident knowing that Ron Howard is part of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. At first I was like, ugh. Yeah. Why are you messing with me? Well, it's a different like war. That? Right. And you then, know, you know uh, don't mess with that kind of stuff. But Ron Howard, okay. I'll try it out. Yeah. We, we, you know, we've had a lot of shows about hospitals, you know. Okay. Maybe it's